Fans were divided by Game of Thrones end in 2019, but HBO's eagerly awaited prequel series House of the Dragon has given George R. R. Martin's fantasy franchise fresh life. It follows the Khaleesi's forebears in the height of their power, when the last dragonlords of Valyria controlled with Steros and is set 172 years before Daenerys' birth. Rhaenyra Targaryen, the courageous daughter of King Viserys, is one of many new characters in the Game of Thrones that House of the Dragon introduces. People who have read Fire and Blood, the Targaryen history book written by George R. R. Martin, will be familiar with Rhaenyra's exploits, which include competing for the throne with her supporters and riding her dependable dragon Syrax. In House of the Dragon, the civil war between the Targaryens known as the Dance of the Dragons, which cost them their dragons and finally brought about their destruction, is portrayed. The conflict is centered on Rhaenyra, but who is she really? This is the untold truth of Rhaenyra Targaryen. Spoilers ahead. The firstborn child of King Viserys, Paddy Considine, and Queen Emma Arryn, Princess Rhaenyra was born in 97 AC. In a turbulent time, Rhaenyra's father ascends to the throne. After the previous king, Jiharis I, Michael Carter, loses both of his male heirs, the noble houses of Westeros convene to decide who will succeed him as king. The Great Council of 101 AC chooses the fifth king of the Targaryen dynasty to rule. Even though Viz Ares is the younger of the two, he is chosen over his cousin Rhaenys, Eve Best. In the first House of the Dragon episode, the heirs of the dragon, Rhaenys, also known as the Queen Who Never Was, talks with young Rhaenyra about the Great Council's choice, informing the princess that men would rather burn the country ablaze than see a woman ascend the Iron Throne. Primogeniture might be considered the story's main topic in Rhaenyra. Throughout their marriage, Viz Ares and Emma make numerous attempts to conceive a male heir, which leads to a number of miscarriages, stillbirths, and, ultimately, a cruel and gory fate for Queen Emma. Teenage Rhaenyra is formally recognized as Viz Ares' successor when the queen is killed through an unconsensual medieval C-section. Contrary to fire and blood, Viz Ares names Rhaenyra his successor when she is eight years old which differs from the Targaryen history book. In her youth, Rhaenyra was adored by the people of Westeros and given the nickname The Realm's Delight in recognition of her exquisite beauty. She is her father's cupbearer as a youngster and has access to all of his council sessions and the inner workings of government. It's safe to argue that Viz Ares was preparing Rhaenyra for a position of power in the same manner that Jon Snow, Kit Harington, was prepared when Gier Mormont, James Cosmo, named him his personal steward during season one of Game of Thrones to lead the Night's Watch. Rhaenyra and Jon learn how to rule and be ruled concurrently from their respective roles. Nevertheless, over the course of her life, Rhaenyra's reputation declines. According to Fire and Blood, the Targaryen queen had a reputation for being controversial in her later years and was given several rather derogatory titles by the inhabitants of Westeros. In House of the Dragon, actor Millie Alcock plays a young Rhaenyra, and actor Emma Darcy subsequently fills in as an older Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra will likely be portrayed by two actors, which the showrunners may have done for reasons other than just convenience. Viewers get to see two different sides of Rhaenyra, including how contending for the throne affects her as time goes on by seeing Millie Alcock as the young realm's delight and Emma Darcy as the half-year queen. Have you forgotten those recognizable overhead views of Daenerys, Emilia Clarke, riding a dragon over cities? Do not fret. As viewers fly with Rhaenyra over King's Landing in the opening seconds of House of the Dragon, Targaryen fans are rewarded, and this time, no one is running away in fear from Dragonfire. Rhaenyra flies Syrax, a dragon known as the Golden Beast for having eye-catching gold scales. Compared to Carax's The Blood Worm, the dragon owned by Prince Demon, Matt Smith, Syrax is less aggressive and battle-weary. Syrax is named after a Valyrian goddess. Despite this, Syrax is a formidable opponent. At the young age of seven, Rhaenyra makes her first flight aboard Syrax. In contrast to other well-known Targaryen dragons like Balerion the Black Dread and Vhagar, Syrax only has Rhaenyra as her rider for the entirety of her life. According to Fire and Blood, Prince Joffrey, the son of Rhaenyra, tried to fly Syrax, but the dragon rejected him and slung him off her back to his death. Rhaenyra and Syrax are shown at the opening of House of the Dragon, displaying a bond like to that of Daenerys and Rogan. However, in Westeros, there aren't many happy endings. In Fire and Blood, Syrax's tragic fate is revealed. A rioting mob that storms the dragon pit in defiance of the Targaryens kills Syrax. Rhaenyra Targaryen is the first woman to hold the Iron Throne in the protracted and deadly history of Westeros. Her opponent Egan II and the Mesters of the Citadel, 
who brand her usurper, both contest and denigrator rule. However, after her group, the Blacks, seizes King's Landing from Egan too, as described in Fire and Blood, Rhaenyra does hold the kingdom. Rhaenyra is known as the half-year queen, since she reigns for only six months in King's Landing. According to book lore, Rhaenyra is the only woman to hold the kingdom, but in HBO's Game of Thrones, Cersei Lannister, Lena Headey, assumes the role when her children are killed in the season 6 finale The Winds of Winter, following in Rhaenyra's footsteps. Rhaenyra is nonetheless a significant character in the Targaryen dynasty, and a significant ancestor of Daenerys in the books, despite her disgraced sovereignty. The mother of dragons, who reigns over Meereen while staking her claim to Westeros' Iron Throne, is the family's second sovereign queen after Rhaenyra. There are even more parallels between Rhaenyra and Cersei Lannister. Five of the Queen of the Targaryen's offspring play significant roles in the Dance of the Dragons. Rhaenyra's marriage to Sir Lena Valerian produces her first three children, Jockeries, Lucerys, and Joffrey, a name Cersei chose for one of her own children, the most wicked of the group. Similar to Cersei, the boy's legitimacy is questioned, with the realm assuming that Sir Harwin Strong, Rhaenyra's lover, is truly the father. Jockeries, Lucerys, and Joffrey, collectively known as the Strong Boys, all ride dragons, Vermax for Jockeries, Arax for Lucerys, and Tyraxes for Joffrey. Later, Prince Demon Targaryen's two other sons, Egan and Viserys, are born to Rhaenyra. Before trauma taints the young prince's perception of House Targaryen's avian creatures, Egan rides the dragon Stormclad. When Viserys, Rhaenyra's father, passes away, she is expecting her sixth child. The news starts a challenging labor. For the Targaryen queen, tragedy doubles when Visenya, her unborn daughter, dies during delivery. Rhaenyra Targaryen marries for the first time out of obligation. In 114 AC, the princess marries Sir Lener Valerian, Theonate John Macmillan, although she is open about her dislike for him. According to Fire and Blood, Viserys threatened to repudiate Rhaenyra as his heir if she didn't follow through with the marriage, forcing her to marry Lener. Lener spends the majority of his time at High Tide, the residence of Corlys Valerian, with Sir Joffrey Lonmouth, who is heavily implied to be gay and in love with Lener. Rhaenyra makes friends with Lena Valerian, who marries Demon Targaryen, and dies giving birth to their twin daughters, Princess Rena and Princess Bela, despite spending most of her time at court away from her husband. In 120 AD, after Lena and Lena dies, Rhaenyra and Demon secretly wed against King Viserys' desires. The beginning of their connection is terrifying, Demon courted his niece from an early age and sent her numerous mementos from his travels, such as a Valyrian steel necklace as seen in the opening episode of House of the Dragon. Princess of Dragonstone is Rhaenyra's official title as King Viserys' heir, it is a title that is handed down to all Targaryen heirs and is only ever granted to two female characters throughout the course of the novel. At the start of Game of Thrones, Daenerys is given this title, just like her ancestor. Daenerys is the only other, known, living Targaryen following Robert's rebellion, and she serves as Viserys' successor. Daenerys, who considers herself to be the last of the Dragonlords, takes control of House Targaryen following the deaths of Viserys and her unborn son Rigo. The tale arcs of Rhaenyra and Daenerys are determined by prophecy. Viserys relates to his daughter in House of the Dragon a prophecy dream once experienced by Egan I, which inspired the Conqueror to unite with Steros with fire and blood. The demise of the human race was predicted by Egan. A severe winter, that will blow in from the far north, is about to start. Egan observed complete blackness riding on those winds, and whatever resides there will endanger the living planet. Rhaenyra, all of Westeros must resist this severe winter when it arrives. The Princess of Dragonstone is heir to her father's crown and her family's responsibility. In Fire and Blood, Rhaenyra fights against crown-hungry suitors from various aristocratic families like House Tyrell, House Lannister, and House Free. In the year 106 AC, Alicent Hightower is made the bride of King Viserys. Prince Egan, Princess Helena, Prince Eamond, and Prince Darren are the four children who are born to Alicent, the daughter of Sir Otto Hightower, Viserys' hand, and, according to House of the Dragon, Rhaenyra's childhood friend. The arrival of these kids causes fear throughout the land. Rhaenyra, Viserys' heir, will she survive? Or will the king be compelled by patriarchal customs to designate his eldest son, Prince Egan, as the next heir to the throne? Rhaenyra, who is the heir, does not change, which is to the character's credit. However, the Targaryens continue to split into two groups in spite of this. 
Rhaenyra makes a big statement by donning the traditional Targaryen colors, black and red, to emphasize her standing as the future of House Targaryen, in contrast to Alicent's green gown, during a tournament given in honor of Viserys and Alicent's fifth wedding anniversary in 111 AC. In honor of the princess and queen's attire, the two factions are subsequently referred to as the Blacks and the Greens. Rhaenyra and Daemon are in the forefront of their resistance, while Alicent and Egan are leading the Greens. While his brother Eamon One-Eye rides Vhagar, the eldest and largest Targaryen dragon, Egan, who will later be known as Egan II, mounts Sunfire. Never do Rhaenyra and Egan engage in direct combat on their dragons. On their behalf, other characters engage in battle and perish. House Targaryen is completely destroyed by the Civil War, which also virtually eliminates all of the dragons and starts the gradual fall that results in Robert's rebellion. Rhaenyra is an unpopular monarch despite having six months of power in King's Landing. When Rhaenyra succeeds her brother and becomes the throne, the populace initially supports her, but they soon turn against her when she dramatically raises taxes to pay for the war. The populace revolts against her because to hunger and oppression. The beloved sister-wife of Egan II, Helena Targaryen, commits herself, inciting the wrath of the mob. The shepherd-like High Sparrow-like figure leads rioters as they overrun the city, storm the dragon pit, and slaughter numerous dragons, including Rhaenyra's Syrax. Rhaenyra flees to Dragonstone. Unfortunately, Egan and his forces wait in ambush. Egan's had a tough time by this point. Not only is he badly burned from a clash with Rhaenys and her dragon Melis, but the king's legs are shattered from a fight with Princess Bela and her dragon Mundancer, during which Egan is forced to jump from Sunfire's back. Needless to say, he's not thrilled. Egan sentences Rhaenyra to death by dragon. Sunfire devours her, all while her son watches. In season 3 of Game of Thrones, Joffrey Baratheon, Jack Gleason, recounts the story of Rhaenyra's death to Marguerite Tyrell, Natalie Dormer, while touring the Great September of Baylor. Rhaenyra's remains are entombed at the September alongside her Targaryen brethren. Most of what we know about Rhaenyra and her family comes from Mushroom, a dwarf who served as a court jester to the Targaryens according to Fire and Blood. Mushroom is a Tyrion Lannister archetype. Both share a propensity for wine and body jokes. Most importantly, Mushroom and Tyrion, famously played by Peter Dinklage in Game of Thrones, are underestimated by the people around them. Like Tyrion, Mushroom uses this to his advantage by becoming privy to important information that the nobles don't bother to conceal from him. Mushroom documented an account of the Dance of the Dragons, titled The Testimony of Mushroom. His testimony forms the backbone of fire and blood, and the narrator of the history book Archmester Gildan attempts to discern the truth from the lies. Mushroom makes some pretty salacious claims in his testimony. Gildan compares his account of the events to other historians, like Septon Eustace and Grandmester Munkin, whose tales often contradict. Then again, in Westeros, any scandal is possible. Mushroom doesn't appear in House of the Dragon, though so creator Ryan Condal has confirmed that there will at least be some nods to the character. King Viserys I defies tradition in naming his daughter the heir to the Iron Throne. However, the king does a half-hearted job of securing Rhaenyra's position of power, especially after he has sons by Alice and Hightower. Rather than challenge male primogeniture or make a formal declaration of Targaryen exceptionalism, which is how the Targaryens convince the faith of the Seven to let them practice incest, Viserys seemingly just hopes for the best, oblivious to the civil war beginning around him. House of the Dragon suggests that Viserys is motivated by a mixture of guilt for Emma's death and his desire to keep his hot-headed brother Demon away from the throne. Does Viserys love his daughter? Yes. But doesn't that mean he should work harder to secure her future as queen? Probably. House of the Dragon will shed light on this in future episodes as it works to fill in the gaps from fire and blood. After Rhaenyra's death, it seems as if Egan too has won the war. But all is not lost for the queen's cause. The Blacks continue to fight in her name, with a new army of Northmen and knights from the Vale approaching King's Landing. Cregan Stark leads his soldiers to the capital, where they discover that Egan too has been poisoned. The Greens bend the knee to Cregan, who makes some severe changes in the city on behalf of Rhaenyra's son, the future King Egan III. Cregan's six-day rule in 131 AC is dubbed the Hour of the Wolf. With it, the Dance of the Dragons comes to an end. Egan III is crowned at the age of 11, though the realm is ruled by a council of regents until he comes of age. The young king remains deeply traumatized by the death of his mother and falls into a lifelong depression.
that is during Egan's reign that the last of the Targaryen dragon dies, earning him the nickname Dragonbane. Rhaenyra might not win the throne, but her legacy lives on. Her ancestry extends all the way to Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen, the last scions of the House of the Dragon.